Hi, my name is Mark Perkle, and today we're going to be frying a turkey in the Masterbuilt Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer. XL. XL, and I will be assisted by my good friend Matt Mulkey. And we are in Denver, Colorado. We are going to try to keep this video short and sweet. Okay, so three easy steps. You can inject the turkey with whatever you want to marinate it with. We're just rubbing it with pepper and salt. Fry it. It's three and a half to four minutes a pound. You can do a 20 pound turkey in about an hour. That way you can have your other stuff cooking in the oven. Today we're cooking an 18.8 .8 pound turkey. Free range that we got through work. Okay, so this is what was in the box that came with the turkey fryer. First, the power cord, heating element, fryer, liquid holder. In order for you to know how much oil you need in the pan, you put the turkey in when it's still in its bag, hold it down, put water in it until it's completely submerged, and that's exactly how much oil you need. And if you if you already open the turkey, there is a fill line inside here. Put it to the max. Yeah, put it to the max. Next we have the lowering pan. You put the turkey in. You lower it using this device when the oil is hot. Fantastic. And we have 18 quarts of peanut oil. Bought that at Sam's Club Costco. It's 32 bucks. Turkey fryer takes about 12 quarts. The good news is, because peanut oil has such a high smoking point, you can reuse it several times. There's a little spout right there that came with the turkey fryer and the spout attaches right here so you can drain the oil and reuse it. And here's the little lady herself. That's Thanksgiving 2014, Denver, Colorado. Okay, so power cord. Into the heating element. Into the heating element. It's a breakaway power cord, so it's magnetic. It just sticks right on the heating element and you can pull it right off if you needed to. There we go. And then heating element. Heating element slides right onto the turkey fryer. Nice. So Matthew is angling the oil inside the inner basket of the turkey fryer. It sounds like a fart. And like I said, there is a fill line. It's really hard to see in the picture, but and we're using peanut oil. It's about 65 degrees out right now, so the peanut oil is a little thicker than normal. Okay, peanut oil's in. As you can see, we didn't have to put very much in there to do a, we have an 18 pound turkey, so we didn't have to use very much oil. Okay, so now what we do is we turn the temperature all the way up. Temperature goes up to 375. We close the lid. And it takes approximately 45 minutes for the oil to heat up, just so you can plan ahead. Once the oil is heated up, that ready light right there will pop on and turn green. Can be lowering the turkey into the oil since Matthew is certified in CPR and first aid. Right. Okay. Green light comes on when it's ready. We had the green light on a minute ago. If you let the green light stay on too long, unit overheat shuts itself off. When that happens, you lift this off, pull the plug out, and there's a reset button back there. You just hit the reset button with a toothpick or something. All right, so I think we're ready to go. We've put it back at 350, and the green light will come on if we drop it just a little. Oh, actually, it's good right here. Okay. We're going to go. All right, time for some action. So... Why this is an indoor fryer, there's no flame. So if I were to be a knucklehead and drop a frozen turkey in here, and the oil boiled over and went and hit a flame, start on fire and burn the house down. Smart. Now yeah. we're outside just because it's so nice out. Otherwise we'd be doing this in the kitchen. Welcome to Denver. I'm certain this is going to be loud. Oh, purple, use this, bro. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot this piece. Hang on. Use your other hand for grab it right there. No, there you go. Okay. So we almost forgot the most. Are you still recording? 
I almost forgot the most important thing is the handle to lower it down. So here we go. Set her down, it's not boiling much. There you go. Completely submerged. Alright, she's in there. We're going to close the lid. Okay, and we're going to set the timer for about an hour because we're doing an 18 pound turkey. Yep. Okay, so we set the timer for 65 minutes. And then what you want to do at 65 minutes, you want to take your thermometer, stick it in there and see if it's done. Okay, turkey is there. We're going to take it out here in just a sec. Do it now. Should do it. Okay, so you lift the turkey out and you let it set right there for 10 minutes. Got dark out fast, so we're using some backlight, but turkey's rocking. You can smell it down the street. Okay, the turkey is done. It's on the table. We can give you the uh, Lazy Susan version. Yep. And now you know how to do it. Cooked 360 degrees all the way around the turkey. Hi, my name is Mark Perkle, and today we're going to be frying a turkey in the Masterbuilt Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer. XL. XL. And I will be assisted by my good friend Matt Mulkey. And we are in Denver, Colorado. We are going to try to keep this video short and sweet. Okay, so three easy steps. You can inject the turkey with whatever you want to marinate it with. We're just rubbing it with pepper and salt. Fry it. It's three and a half to four minutes a pound. You can do a 20 pound turkey in about an hour. That way you can have your other stuff.